Hello and welcome. All right, so uh, this is part number seven of chapter number 11, Air and Water. In this uh, video, we will be talking about rust formation. We will be talking about the reacting chemicals that are needed for the rust to form. And we will also be talking about the factors that uh, speed up um, and accelerate uh, the rusting process. Now, Rusting is an oxidation reaction in which iron picks up oxygen. It picks up oxygen, so it's an oxidation reaction. But the rust formed is not is not pure iron oxide. It also contains water. So water is needed. Water is, is a must. So iron plus oxygen plus water gives you hydrated iron 3 oxide, which is also known as rust. So you need to memorize this equation. Nothing, it's like, it's not difficult. It's just you have to know that with oxygen and water, the iron forms a compound known as hydrated iron 3 oxide, which is referred to as rust. Now, many metals corrode, okay, but it's only that the corrosion of iron is referred to as rusting. So rusting is a term which is used only for the corrosion of iron. Okay, and here is a picture of a car uh, which is um, which has undergone the rusting process. All right, so again, I repeat, the rusting chemicals are oxygen and water. It doesn't have to be like liquid water, not necessarily. It could be humidity in air. All right, so now, rust won't form an iron in dry air because it needs water or humidity, which is why surplus military equipment is sometimes kept in deserts because deserts are so dry. They sometimes take like... Uh, airplanes and uh, the heavy metallic equipment of the military and store it in the desert because it would uh, greatly reduce the probability of these uh, metallic and iron uh, equipment to rust. Also, uh, we said um, uh, that iron uh, needs water, uh, needs, I mean, oxygen. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we said that rust needs oxygen, and so rust can't form on iron and water without oxygen, such as the very deep ocean. So in deep ocean, there is no oxygen. And that's why much of the Titanic, the great Titanic ship that we all know about, and, a, and an Oscar-winning movie was, um, was made about, is still there. Um, uh, the remains of the Titanic are still there um, in the deep ocean, even though it has sank uh, from over 100 years ago. Okay, so that was a fun fact. You know, uh, if you ever wondered why the, the remains are still there, it's because um, the, the, uh, it is in deep ocean, and in deep ocean there is no oxygen. And so rust is informed, and so it will uh, remain uh, almost like um, in its original condition. Okay, now the factors that speed up the rusting process. Let me get the highlighter. I think the highlighter is better. Um, let me get the yellow color. So the factors that speed up rusting is salt and uh, acidic solutions. Okay, they accelerate. Um, accelerate. That wasn't clear, but you get the point. Accelerate uh, the rusting process. Okay, so now we're going to carry out a small experiment. We have seven test tubes. Okay, we have seven test, black, seven test tubes. Okay. Um, okay, in different, that contain seven iron nails. These are all iron nails. Okay, and in each test tube, there is different condition. In test tube number one, it is air. Uh, the, the, the iron nail is placed in air. In the second test tube, the nail is placed in tap water. In the third test tube, the nail is placed in sea water. In the fourth test tube, the nail is placed in boiled water, which is sealed uh, with a layer of oil. And in the fifth test tube, uh, the iron nail um, is... Um, put in drying agent calcium chloride and in the sixth test tube um, the iron nail is galvanized and in the seventh test tube um, the iron nail is put in dilute acidic solution now quick notes uh, before we determine which nails are going to rust and which will not 
The solubility of gases decreases as the temperature increases. Therefore, in number four, the water was boiled to remove the oxygen and then it was sealed with an oil layer uh, to prevent further oxygen from dissolving in the water. So this has no oxygen, only water. Okay, and galvanizing is a technique, um, is a rust prevention technique uh, that we will be talking about in the next video. But for now, you just need to know that it is a rust prevention technique. Okay, so let's now determine which iron nails will rust and which won't. Let's start with the ones that are going to rust. One, two, one, two, three, and seven. Let's see why. In one, there is air. That means there is oxygen, there is humidity, so oxygen and water, both available conditions, and so rust will form. In number two, there is water, tap water, and there is air, like the oxygen can dissolve in the water, and so there is water and oxygen, it will rust. In number three, also again there is water, so there is oxygen, and also there is oxygen, and it is seawater, so there is salt, so the rust will even form quicker in test tube number three as compared to test tube number two. And what else we said will rust number seven. Number seven, it is put in dilute acidic solution. Uh, so there is um, water, some sort of water in it. And there is, um, it's open to air. And so uh, oxygen can dissolve um, in this uh, solution. And also it contains acid. So it will speed up the rusting process. So this will rust. Now. Let's come to the test tubes that won't trust. These number uh, 4, 5, and 6. Why in 4? Because in 4, as we said, the water was boiled to remove the oxygen. And so only water is available. And so um, without oxygen, rust won't form. And it was sealed with, uh, with oil uh, to prevent further dissolving of um, oxygen. Okay, further dissolving of oxygen. And in number five, there was a drying agent, calcium chloride. And so uh, there is no any uh, water droplets uh, from the air um, that, would, um, that would cause the rust process to take place. Only uh, oxygen is available, but not water. So I hope this experiment was uh, uh, clear. It demonstrated uh, the importance of the two reacting chemicals to be um, available, and that is oxygen and water. All right, so I think um, we have come to an end with this video. If you have any question, uh, please post it in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.